fucking suck. I don't fucking believe it. I don't fucking believe what I just looked at on my little Volkswagen car. The headlight is busted. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Okay, we got loser, weekly loser guy back there, uh, fucking sanding. I hope he keeps it up. We need to get some shit done around here. But anyway, what the situation is, is uh, I had a rock fly up, I guess it was a rock, and uh, it hit my Volkswagen, my lovely little Volkswagen, the Volkswagen that I love with all my heart, my little Maxwell Volkswagen, and it uh, chipped the lens on it. Let's go look at it and see what we got to do, uh, because this might happen to you. So what we're talking about here, we're talking about the clear lens on our old 1964 Volkswagen. Now what I'm about to show you here pretty much applies to any old vintage Volkswagen including the buses, uh, the Type 1's, Type 2's, and uh, what happened here is a rock, if we look right in this area here you can see it looks actually like a BB uh, because it's a little small hole right there, but it uh, chipped it out and now what happened is that is not a sealed beam anymore. So what we got to do is we got to replace that lens. And to replace that lens takes a little bit of knowledge to know how to take it apart. And that's what my friend Pete's here to show you how to do. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to locate your mounting screw down on the bottom of your headlight. Go ahead and remove that screw. Now sometimes if they've been on there a long time, it's going to be hard to get that screw off. Uh, so be very careful not to strip those threads out. If you strip the threads out, then you're really going to be screwed and it's going to be hell getting it off. Once you uh, take the screw out, you just lift it off very carefully. When you lift it off, uh, it's going to be a big housing just like you see right here. And what you're going to want to do, you want to go ahead and unplug your light socket just like so. And then on the bottom of your light, you're going to see two wires. And you'll want to disconnect those wires right there, remembering where they were located. Because uh, you, you want to be able to put those right back on the connectors that they were. One's a ground wire, one's a hot wire. This is actually our park light. When you uh, pull your knob out, your headlight knob, one click, that turns these little lights on right here. And then, once our headlight is removed, we're going to go ahead and dismantle it to replace our lens. So, to replace our outer lens, our protective lens, this is the new one, this is the old one. It's a very simple, easy chore but you got to be able to pay attention to do it right. And what I'm talking about, if you look right here, you're going to see all these little clips inside here. You can see those all the way around. Those have to come off of there, and you can't ruin those clips as you take them off. Now, if you were going to replace the headlight, you would take these clips off right here, and then the headlight would come out, and then you put it back on and put the clips exactly in the same spot. But what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and replace the broken uh, outer lens, so we want to remove all of these clips that go all the way around, and uh, then we're going to replace that. So paying close attention to our clips, we want to make sure that we see how they're put in, because we want to put them in the exact same way, put them back in. We're going to take a pair of needle nose, using our needle nose, pushing down on the clip, and pulling it out, just like so. Once you get one out, you can usually use your finger to pop them out as well, uh, but in their, when they're hard to reach place, such as this lens here, you'd want to use your needle nose pliers. Now I actually have several other clips in here, more than it would take, due to the fact that I uh, wanted to secure the lens so it didn't leak. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and remove those out of there, just like so. Do you see what I'm saying? That's when you need the needle nose to get those out, because sometimes your finger it doesn't fit like it's supposed to. Once you have all the clips removed, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take our adjuster right here. If you look right here, this is your headlight adjuster. All right, and we're going to go ahead and lightly unlock that from the rubber bushing that it's in. 
just like so. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat our process over here on this one, unlocking that from the rubber bushing that it's locked into. You want to be very, very careful doing this. And then once those are unlocked, you can slide your ring, okay, off of the headlight assembly. When we flip that over, what we're going to notice is that when we take that off, all right, yes, the headlight is inside there. You can see that now. Uh, what we're going to notice is there is a rubber ring, all right, that is a seal to make to ensure that water doesn't get into our headlight when we're driving it. You want to inspect that seal, make sure it's a good seal, and if it's the seal is uh, corroded or rotted in any way, now is the time to go ahead and replace that. But if it's in good shape, like this one is right here, this is still in brand new shape from when I restored my little bug, you want to go ahead and remove that very carefully because it's going to feel like it's stuck onto the glass and uh, we don't want to break that because then we'd have to close the shop down and go buy another one and I don't think Weekly Loser wants to close the shop down and drive 40 miles to get a rubber gasket. So, now that that is uh, removed, we're going to go ahead and take our new lens, all right, and we're going to go ahead and install our rubber gasket just like we took it off. And sometimes these can actually be a pain in the ass to put on, but uh, you just got to be very careful and have patience. And sometimes even it might take more than two hands, but uh, I think we got it here. It is right here. And when installing the gasket back onto it, you want to make sure that the gasket is formed right in the center. You don't want it uh, hanging over or being too short on one side and not on the other, uh, if that makes any sense. And then now we're ready to go ahead and install our lens, uh, our new lens, back into the headlight. So you want to find the top of your headlight, which is right here. This would be the bottom. While we have that out, I'm going to go ahead and clean the inside of this. And uh, I see that it's really not dirty at all anyway. But uh, I did notice one thing, and this is a good tech tip for you. If you look at the inside of my bucket, when I restored my car, when I restored my car, I actually painted it two-tone. And the two-tone white paint that I used, I went ahead and painted the inside of my bucket white. So uh, I didn't even realize that until just now when we were looking at that. If your headlight needs replaced, this is the time to do it. Because uh, you can go ahead and get to it very simple right here and take it out. So this would be a good time to do that. But we don't need to replace our headlight. All we need to do is replace our lens. So we're going to go ahead and set the lens. Now, uh, on this particular lens, this is a European style that has the uh, flutes in it, the fluted headlight. And on the top right here, it has a little eyebrow uh, indication. It looks like a little eyebrow. You can see that. And that would indicate that that's the top of that lens. So we're going to go ahead and set that in there, just like so. And I noticed that... Uh, it fits in there very well. I want to make sure that this is exactly the same. Uh, hang on one second here. This one here actually looks bigger. Okay, it's the same. These are aftermarket. Okay, we're, we're dealing with aftermarket parts here. So, you know, I don't know who made this one versus who made this one. And I want to make sure that they're fitting in there the same before I put all this shit together. So, we go ahead and uh, slide it in there once we see that it fits. And make sure that it's centered. And then we're going to go ahead and flip it over, just like this, finding our uh, rubber marks. Remember that? That's where our adjusters are. So the long one would be right here, and then, of course, the short one over here. And then we're going to roll that back in place very carefully without screwing anything up, getting it back in line, and then taking our rubber stopper, once we get it all on there, uh, we're going to take our adjuster once we get it all in place and then snap that back in as well. And then once you have your adjusters in line and everything's looking good, you want to go ahead and make sure that the bottom of the headlight is lined up properly. And before we put our rings back on, our uh, snap ring uh, clips here, before we do that, we want to flip the headlight over 
and we want to make sure that the headlight is fitting in properly just like we see here and then it's basically just putting our clips back in place and going in a circle doing it so we're going to start right here you're going to take the clip pop it in like that and then you're going to take your finger let me try that one more time and you're going to hold it down and pop it in with your finger so it looks just like that clip right there and then to make sure that the ring uh, the beauty ring the headlight ring doesn't pop off we'll go ahead and uh, put one straight across from that the opposite uh, straight across and that will hold our beauty ring in place where we want it And we want to make sure that we're still in line and everything is in motion here and looking like it's supposed to and now we're just going to go ahead and replace these just like they came out and then once you have all your clips in it's just a matter of going back over to the vehicle and installing the light right back the way it was when you removed it so the first thing we want to do of course is uh, hook up our park lamp We'll go ahead and stick those wires right back where we found them. And then we're going to go ahead and plug our headlamp back in. Just like so. We should be able to hook it up on here on the lip. Set it on here. Make sure that it hooks on the top very nicely without disturbing the rubber gasket going around it all right there's a rubber gasket here so you don't want to pinch that you want to be able to line up the screw hole on the bottom so we're going to go ahead and take our uh, mounting screw we'll go ahead and put that back in just like we got it and once again you want to be careful with these mounting screws because we don't want to strip them out. If you strip that out in here or uh, you get the threads fucked up, you're gonna be screwed, so be very careful. Very careful. If you notice, I'm upside down here because I wanna make sure that I get it on there properly. And that's what it takes to do the job right. You got to make sure to get it on there right. All righty then, there we go. And now, our headlight is in. Let's double check it and make sure everything works. We look right there, that's our park light. That's the little bulb down in the bottom here that's on. So that would be our illuminated park light. You can see how beautiful that is. Uh, you can also buy those in yellow, but I like the European style where they're white. And then of course, the headlight and uh, it looks like everything's working and then just fine. to clarify everything I wanted to show you this right here this is a bus headlight uh, which would be mounted like that alright you can see that the headlight is uh, actually it goes this way uh, this is a universal headlight for type 1 and 2's which is a bug and a bus but you can see the headlight is up and down in there so that means this came off a bus but uh, it can actually be used for a bug as well and that's the factory original lens and uh, I will tell you this right now, if the aftermarket lens breaks again, if I get a little rock chip in that, the factory lens will be going back on there because these are really actually the ones that you want to use. So uh, that's all the same it is and that's how it's done. If you happen to run in to that problem right there, now you know how to fix your headlight. We'll see you later. This is Pete, my friend Pete with the 1964 VW Bug called Maxwell and fixing them up and keeping them looking good so I can be proud to say I did it. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.